Welcome back to Project 12, and uh, this is CAD 102. And again, we're doing this uh, typically on the board, but uh, due to the circumstances, we're going to have to do this on AutoCAD. So what I want to do is just open up a regular AutoCAD drawing. And uh, we are going to do some geometric constructions, and uh, all this is going to be the tangencies. Now let me get my AutoCAD set up here. I'm in Carlson right now, so I want to go just strictly to AutoCAD. So I'll have to set that up. It will take just a second. And we're going to have nine little drawings here, and um, we're going to bust them up and put them into uh, boxes. We'll do that here as soon as this loads up. put this strictly back into AutoCAD. Let's try it again. Ah, we're seeing something move. Good. Alright, now we're back into AutoCAD. I want to bust this thing up nine times. And remember, um, AutoCAD does all this stuff for you. I'm just showing you how to do it manually here. That way it will help you down the road. And uh, I want to do it on an A, let's do it on B size paper. Let's say you got a uh, paper, it's 11 by 17, so 17 that way, 11 up this way. We're just using. Uh, just decimal units. On this one. And uh, coming over this way, 17. And then just drop it straight down. Now, very easily, we could go up there and divide this line. Remember, we can go to Format and use Point Style. Set that up. and you could have went up here to draw and divide a line. Now I can click on that divide a line, I can bust this thing up, click on it and bust it up three times and you got the three sections here and you could do that down here as well. Um, a space bar to repeat the command three times. And I could just bust those little parts up just like that, but I don't want to. Uh, I wanted to make sure that you guys know how to divide a line up if you were manually have to do it. And again, all you have to do is just take and get your ruler. Let's say this is a ruler here. We stretch it out. It doesn't matter how you stretch it out as long as it's evenly divided. And we'll say that this line is evenly divided. We'll get it going along that right there. We got that tracking on. And we'll say uh, every we'll say every one inch. So there's one here's one. I'm just making sure I'm following the same pa uh, direction. And you see I got this thing split up three times. Three different sections. Now all you have to do is hit line, catch it in point, and then catch this point. Now this right here is how you would set your protractor head with this angle. And all you would do is take this and I'm going to copy this on here come down to here and you'll notice where it catches. Uh, let me make sure my end point's on. It's on. See how you catch that? And down there catch that one. Do you notice how that's coming through and hitting right there at the point that's already divided up? It works perfectly. Okay? So I want you guys to know how to do that. And then if you want to do this one down here again we got to get us an angle and I want to put maybe on this one we'll do two inches. Two. Two. And then line. This right here is how you set your protractor head. You're going to get your blade. It'll be coming up at that angle right there. 
and all you do is just move that blade to there and one to there and do you notice now how that's fallen in there perfectly so those are little tricks that will help you with that so I'm just going to go ahead and make my boxes across <clears throat> just like this and on this one we got nine boxes so we'll do that here in just a second we'll zoom in here real tight on this and um, the first one we got is it says draw an arc tangent to a circle through a point okay so it would be like this it would be like having a circle here and I'm just going to put one in here So we're going to have a tangent coming through and touching this off of a point. Let's say we have a line that's coming in like this. And it stops like somewhere in here. Okay? And we want to put a radius in here that comes down and hits this point. That point right there. And we could actually go in here and put us just a point if we wanted to. And just go click on a point. And we want that that uh, a radius to come in here and touch this tangent and then touch that point. This is all you have to do. Um, basically, is we got to figure out what radius we need here. So I'll put one just. Let's see what this is size-wise here. Point nine nine seven, so it's almost one. So I want to make this one just to make it easy. I'll go to properties, and I'll come here to radius. So it's almost a, a one inch radius. So there's a one inch radius, makes it two. So I want this arc to be, let's say, a three inch radius. Now, this is how you go about it. You come up here and do your circle. So we're wanting a three inch radius. So annotate, I'll put a text up here. On a three inch radius. And that is huge writing. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna set myself a style up. I don't like the look of that, that looks terrible. Let's go into Annotate and let's go into Times New Roman. I don't know why they always default back to that text style. That is terrible. Times New Roman. 0.125. And I will change that to Annotative. And uh, make sure to, I goofed that up, that you cap everything. 3 inch radius. So this 3 inch radius I'm going to put in here, this is how you do it. So I want it to come through this to this point right here. So to find, this, to find the center point for this radius that comes around, all you do is this. You take your compass and stick it in at that point and you want to do uh, just a 3 inch radius. And it puts that circle in just like that. Now you you want to offset away from this circle three inches. So you'd be right. You put your compass right in the center of it. You know this is an inch out to here. So you just you'd actually set your compass to four inches because you have an inch plus three. But for us, all we have to do while we're on AutoCAD here, um, well, I was going to say you just use your offset command, but we can also do a center radius and to make that exactly three inch offset from that circle it'd have to be four. So right here if you'll notice, and I want to trim the rest of it just to keep everything in the lines. Just to try to keep it clean. But right where those cross at, do a center radius catch that point and then shoot it to th and just type in three inches. Do you see how perfectly this hits tangent on this one and it hits the center point of that mark right there. 
that's how you go about doing that just like that this is actually doing a arc tangent to a circle through a point okay and that's how you go about that one and I want to trim this one up and we'll go on to our next one our next one would be uh, again another arc tangent to a line through a point so it'd be like having a line up here just like that and we have and I'll bring that line all the way across and we got a point so works the same way what you're going to do here is you're going to uh, offset this line however much that you want to offset and I want to grab this and I'll do a copy and move that over uh, this time I want to do a we'll do a little bit smaller so it doesn't take up so much room we'll do a one inch radius okay and I want a one inch radius I don't know if that'll work or not let's do two because I'm afraid it won't be big enough alright so now come up here and do a center radius and what you do is come down here and you're just going to offset for that point two inches radius and then you're going to offset this line two inches okay and uh, how you would do that using um, using your uh, uh, on a board let me show you you come over here and just stick your compass in on two points and put two inch radius and then come over here and do the same thing two inch radius this is how you offset a line manually and then come here and find your quadrants and bring it across do you all see that that's how you do it on a board but uh, we can just as quick come in here and do an offset of two inches and you'll notice if I come there if I come down here it just overlaps we're dead on it but anyways where those uh, cross at this arc and this line that's our center point and then I come in here and put two on there do y'all see how it hits that perfect right through the center and it hits tangent perfect to that line and again trim just keep everything on there everything that we need just like that just so that you can see what's going on and we don't need that we want that to be tangent up here as it comes in the next one is another uh, arc tangent going through a uh, arc through a point tangent to an arc through a point oh that would be just like the one that we did over here basically so they're saying you have an arc and you've got a point so basically it's going to be the same thing put just a little point right there and um, let's say you got a, another little center radius up here and we'll say it's half inch radius or something like that and we're just gonna we'll trim it out to make it an arc and we're wanting to touch this just and it works the same way as that so again um, let's do a two inch radius on that bring it over and I want to hit circle first and again you click on this do two inches so you're two inch offset from the center point of that and then on this one we did this at a was it a half inch let me go to properties right click properties uh, look at the radius, yeah, half inch radius. So this is two inch. So I, I would put uh, my compass in. If I just done an offset, I could do two inch because it's going to offset just from that line, okay? But if I do a circle and I find the center point, I got to add that half inch, then add the two. Because if I put two, see how it's a half inch short? 
so you've got to add in that half which would make it two and a half and it would give you the right distance but anyhow once you get that in there you're going to have two points you all see those one of them's going to hit hit the radius out here the other one's going to hit the radius on the other side so it just depends on which point that you want I want mine to be up here so I do two inch and it perfectly blends right there trim out and clean up everything that way we keep everything in their little containment boxes but you guys can keep that on there for reference down the road but you can kind of see and then now we could actually trim that little piece off right there and kind of let them merge together they're pretty cool all right the next one is drawing